alkane on a similar theme. Alternative reaction can occur between this haloalkane and potassium hydroxide, as shown by the following equation. It's again uh, two bromopropane. And I'm looking at it and I'm thinking, oh, hello. Let's have a look at what we notice. And what we notice is that we've, we've in our product, in this hydrocarbon we form, we've, we've got a double bond. And we've got water. Oh, hello. Potassium hydroxide. So while I'm looking, I'm thinking, oh, this OH must be reacting with this hydrogen here. Well, how else do I get the water? Yeah, I'm losing the, I'm, I'm losing the bromine here. Well, it could be the hydrogen. But if I lose this bromine here, I'm kind of leaving a naked carbon atom. So if it's hydrogen here, if I'm going to lose this bromine as well, well it can't be this hydrogen atom. It's got to be another one. Hmm. So I take a pick. It must be either on here or on here. It doesn't really matter which one. So let's go for this one. I'm going to get rid of this because I can't have a naked atom with three bonds on. I can't lose a bromine and the hydrogen from the same atom. Okay. So what a kind of reaction is this? Well, this is elimination. Elimination reaction. All right. Let's have a look at a mechanism. Uh, so coming back to our species here, and again, it's a little bit unhelpful. We're making it slightly harder by having the methyl, these like these methyl groups either side. Um, and if I just look at this thing here, I'm just going to see if I can, and I can just get rid of uh, this thing here. So, so some rumors out there. The thing I notice is that the the CH3 is not very helpful for me. Because I said, as I looked at the problem, I can't attack this hydrogen here. So it must be another hydrogen. So I'm going to attack one of the hydrogens here. Um, so I'm going to draw it out. Which hydrogen I attack is entirely to me. I haven't got a lot of space. So you know what I'm going to do? I'm using potassium hydroxide. So I am going to attack with that lone pair that we have in the hydroxide group. This hydrogen atom here. So this hydroxide group is attacking this hydrogen atom. Again, it cannot attach, attack the hydrogen atom, central carbon, the bromine. This is going to produce, it's going to make my H2O. So I'm going to write that across here. So that's my H2O. Now, the hydrogen cannot take its electrons with it because then it would create two negative charges. So these electrons in this bond would be what form our double bond. So these electrons will come here. But you see, I've got another bond here, and I know one of my products is KBr, potassium bromide. So this must be Br minus. So then I kind of think, ha ha ha, you know, this bromine is going to nick both these electrons. So in this case, we've got three arrows. Okay. And what I must do is show a final product here. It really doesn't matter. I'm, um, I'm just going to put my double bond on this side. It, it, it's really no different. Um, I was about to <laughs> write a bromine atom there. And that's it. That's all you need. And it's that thought process where you think, mm -hmm, water. It must be producing water. And that must be an OH attacking a hydrogen atom. And the notion that we're getting rid of this bromine as well means we cannot attack this hydrogen atom here. Okay, I quite like that question. The, 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 I think it's kind of uh, quite naughty of them to, to put the CH3 group there and because you kind of need and must draw the CH3 as I've drawn it here. Okie dokie, next question.